Well, Shabbat Shalom and Shalom Shalom from House of David in Fairland, Oklahoma, the One New Man Embassy, where prophetic pieces is connecting you to your future and your destiny. We are so excited. We're in the immersion pool here at House of David, where we actually immerse into this new year, 5783, three, the year of wholeness. So Christy and I are here. We've been in this pool many, many times. And so I want to give you the takeaway. So first of all, I'm going to start with five takeaways that we're going to believe that as you immerse here and at your home, it's not about the water, it's about your heart saying, Lord, circumcise my heart fresh so that I might be cleansed to be promoted to go forward with a new anointing and that that breaker anointing might be able to remove the yoke off your life so you can get free. So I'm gonna review the five benefits. Then we're going to say, why is this double baptism? Absolutely not. So we'll go into the scripture, spend a little time there so that you understand it's biblical what you're doing. And then Christy has a word for us out of uh, Francis Roberts book, High Road to Surrender, for this time and this immersion. But we're gonna start out with a shofar blast. If you have a shofar at your home, go ahead and we blast it over the water because the scripture says in Numbers chapter 10, it says, when you go to war in your country, sound the alarm or blow the, tu- the trumpet, which we'll be doing tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Central for Rosh Hashanah. One of the names and one of the things that breaks loose at Rosh Hashanah is the great blast. So let's start the great, great blast over this water, over your bathtub, hot tub, creek, swimming pool or wherever you're immersing into let's go ahead and give that great shout right now thank you Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So I want to uh, review with you over my notes of what the Lord said to believe for you. We're believing this for you. This will be the takeaway for the Rosh Hashanah celebration and this time at 5783. Number one, that the anointing and the gifts and the calling of God would be positioned in you and aligned with you for promotion, provision, and resources. May it be released as you immerse in the water today. Would you say with me, amen. Number two, to go to the nations for souls, every crea- every uh, generation, saving them, setting them free, uh, caring for the kingdom revelation and making disciples of all nations. Would you say amen with me? The wise man invests and goes after souls. Three, Rosh Hashanah. We and and Jewish culture, Rosh Hashanah is where we crown God as the king of the universe. And when we do, he brings an open heaven and the earth opens for us and it invades the storehouses and it unlocks resources, wisdom, knowledge, and provision. Would you say amen? Number four, miracles, dreams, visions, declarations, impartation, divine manifestation and encounters in your water experience today in Yeshua's name, amen. And we're asking you to join with us that God would change our value systems in our souls, our mind, will, and emotions, things that have been hindered, that have brought dead works. And dead works means works that we do to be recognized or self-promotion. Father God, in the kingdom of God, we don't need self-promotion. We need alignment in your kingdom. Your word says that you will exalt us in due season, and the due season is here. The time to favor Zion is now. The time to favor women is now. This next 10-year season of time, God is going to raise up Israel and raise up women in the body of Christ and in all the seven mountains of influence with power, dominion, and authority and with wisdom and humility. But yet that power will be uh, really undescribable, not seen before. That anointing of Deborah and Esther is coming by praying favor and blessings and increase upon you that you may have more than enough as we co-labor with God. We co-labor. Let us experience heaven on earth. Father God, go ahead and decree with me now. Say, Father God, 
I am a co-labor in Messiah. Thank you, Lord, that my inheritance is being released. My identity is being released. My purpose is being released. And a manifestation of your glory is being released in Yeshua's mighty name. Amen. So that's what the takeaways are. Now let me give you the biblical basis of what we're doing here because people have questions and I understand questions. And I wanna tell you this, we encourage questions. Just because we say something doesn't mean that you absolutely need to believe it. You need to research it in the Bible for yourself. But when the apostle Paul was dealing with Gentiles and Jews as a Jew who was circumcised in the flesh, of course, the Gentiles are saying, well, do we need to be circumcised in the flesh? And this was the answer. It's in the Colossians. He was speaking in Colossians 2 and 11. He says, and in him you were circumcised uh, with the circumcision made without hands by the putting off of the body of sin of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ. Meaning that when you come into Christ, that the reproach of that which kept you from your covenant promise to go into the temple, so to say, the holies of holies, and receive an inheritance blessing, you don't have to circumcise your, your flesh, but you need to circumcise your heart. So what makes you part of the Israel of God, not replacing Israel, but being joined to, is the circumcision of the heart. I know this can be interesting, but when he says, Paul says, when you go into the water, which you're gonna do today at your home or your location, and we're doing here, he says, buried with him in baptism, in which you are also raised with him through faith in the working of God who raised you from the dead. So when you come into the water, what you're doing is you're burying one thing and raising up the right thing. So we're gonna bury the bad stuff, in our DNA all the way back to the garden, all generational iniquitous uh, structures and values that are contrary to God's purpose and kingdom for, our, for his greatness in your life. So we're going to actually ask for that supernaturally. I don't know any other way to do it because yes, we can have disciplines, but this is a supernatural visitation for you where you're going to bury it. And we've seen it over 10,000 people have been in this pool over the years and they bury it and they raise up. So the Lord wants to realign our hearts and minds. And verse 13 says, and you being dead in trespasses and uncircumcised, in your flesh. So what that means is that as Gentiles, you were without hope, it says in Ephesians. You are separated from the commonwealth. You have no access to the courts of heaven. When you, you don't have access to pray in the name of Jesus. But when Jesus came, he removed the middle wall of separation, creating in himself one two man, new man from the, from the two, Jew and Gentile, thus making peace to create an abiding place for Jew and Gentile, as it was designed in the garden. So much of this is like the river of life, going back to the garden, taking hold of your inheritance and your authority that when God said in Genesis, I've created man in my image, let them have dominion. May the dominion and the power of your name and his name together in Jesus' name, as you pray it with your name, be a co-laborer. You're saying in Jesus' name, in Yeshua's name, let that power and that dominion bring from the courts of heaven to earth. And that's what he's saying here. But we were dead to trespasses. How many know that we need the forgiveness and the shedding of the blood? One of our most powerful messages that we have on YouTube is pleading the blood of Jesus. Why is that? Because the blood of Jesus is the expungement of sin. You need to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You need to be able to get that teaching because inconsistency, the Lord gave Christy that word, inconsistency lies the victory. So saturate your mind, your will and emotions. Let the word of God that shall not come back void, but shall prosper and that which it is sent to do. May it be sent to you in your water, in your bathtub, in, in your immersion pool this day in Yeshua's name. And I love what it says here. And we have been made alive together with him having forgiveness of all trespasses. Father God, in the name of Yeshua, 
May the life, in Hebrew is chachaim, may the life, the breath of the Ruach, the breath of God be released to you this day. May you come alive in the spirit in Yeshua's name. May all trespasses that have created diseases, uh, infirmities, divorce, separation, poverty, lack of vision, lack of drive, lack of, of energy, lack of joy, let it be buried in the water today in the name of Yeshua. May be this to be the day of the resurrection of you in the fresh baptism of the Holy Spirit with the fire of the Holy Spirit in Yeshua's name. Why? Because verse 14, having wiped out the handwriting and the requirements that were against us, which is contrary to us. Father God, in the books of the court of heaven, in the book of remembrance, may your name be written in that book this day as you immerse, saying, I am one who will co-labor. I am a king and a priest, according to the order of Melchizedek. I am here and available, a servant of the most high God. I surrender all. I lay it down. I bury it. And I resurrect in you in Yeshua's name. Someone needs to be given a shout. Amen. And he has, takes us out. He says he takes it out of the way, having nailed it to the cross having disarmed the principalities, the powers, and he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them in it. May he triumph over it in you today. May he make a public spe spectacle. May the shame, the guilt, the fear, the doubt, the unbelief, the pride, all the anxiety that has been put in all of us, may all the post-pandemic and all the things that are coming that are not good in the natural. Father God, let the breaker anointing break loose in the water today. May the breaker come. May he overcome with the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony in Yeshua's name. Amen and amen. And uh, this book from Francis Roberts uh, called High Road to Surrender. The Lord gave Christy and I a word as we were praying together this morning for you. We were praying for you or saying, Lord, what do you want to speak to the people today? What do you want to speak? You may be watching this years from now. What do you, but the Lord saying, what? I want you to listen to this word coming from this prophet. Th these are words from a long time ago. And I want you to understand this. This is what's great about the archives. This is why I want you to subscribe to our YouTube tube channel. I want you to follow us. I want you to believe, but here's the key. The key is this is his word is living, it's eternal. So this word was written many years ago and watch how fresh it is, it's gonna to speak to you today. Thank you. Um, this is from Francis Roberts on the High Road of Surrender and the title is The Call of the Spirit. And today is the day of salvation. Um, there's another word for salvation, another definition, it means deliverance. Today is the day of salvation. Today is the day of deliverance. Tomorrow is not given to you to possess. Tomorrow is not a mysterious unknown. It will be the fruitage of what you sow today. Your response to me at this moment becomes your present experience of salvation, of deliverance. The past cannot be recaptured. Future choices are yet to be made, and your answer to my call at the point where you now find yourself is one, it's the one, the one deciding factor. Regret weakens, procrastination destroys the vision. Without vision, the people perish. He who walks in faith fulfills his own vision. He works out his own salvation as he responds to the call of the spirit. Flesh will not respond to the spirit. Flesh responds to flesh. Spirit responds to spirit. He who follows me must follow me in spirit and in truth. A false follower is one who follows in the flesh and has not heard the call of the spirit. Such a one in his self-energized zeal becomes a hazard on the road of service. He is in defeat by default, but judges himself to be successful. He is out of harmony with my will while presuming to know it and teach others. Repent, repent all of you with a whole heart. Seek my face and seek my forgiveness. Grace will be given according to the depth of your confession of need. 
And Lord, we just give praise and thanksgiving for this word of wisdom for all of us, yes. for all men, all women, all children, Father. And we thank you and we praise you, Father, as Rabbi said, that all of these things are archived. Everything that comes out of Rabbi, that's poured out of Rabbi is being archived so that no matter when and no matter where, you can pull things up and you can hear exactly what the Lord is speaking. And when he speaks, he speaks to your heart. So Father God, we give praise and thanksgiving this day for this beautiful immersion, for all of these words, for all of these lives, Father, that touch many, many, many other lives, all of these prayers, Father, that are prayed for millions millions and millions of people around the nations of the earth. We give you praise, Father, that your will is being accomplished this day here at the house of David in Yeshua's name. Amen. In Yeshua's name. So now Christy and I are going to immerse so you can see how, how this is done. And many of you have done it many times. So as we stand together and we face each other, it says in the book of James, confess your faults one to another and that you might be healed. Amen. So Father God, I confess to my wife and what the instruction the Lord's given us at this Rosh Hashanah, that Lord, any dead works, yes. anything that yes. I have done to self promote, and I admit I have done these things yes. uh, to, uh, to get attention, uh, to try to get approval of man, anything that I have done uh, all these 67 years, anything in my bloodline that has been done all the way back to the garden, I take responsibility and I repent. Yes. And I ask you as my wife uh, to forgive me yes. and that Lord, we're going to bury it in this water. Amen. And we agree as a couple that for House of David, Kurt Landry Ministries, my olive tree, yes. that Father God, everything we do to the best of our ability is going to be done in the spirit yes, for Lord. the kingdom of God. Yes, we Lord. receive the mandate, yes, the mandate of Jesus. When Jesus said, he went to John the Baptist and John the Baptist said, oh no, I can't baptize you. And he said, no, he says, you must baptize me. I must be baptized because I need yes. to be able to be put things in right order. So let the right order of the things of the yes. spirit be released this yes. day yes. in Yeshua's name and each and every one of your partners. Now listen, we call you partners and donors and members of House of David, but you're mishpacha, your family to us. We are immersing together. We have all taken responsibility of these things. It's, it's not, there's no shame in this, but, but I do confess it to you. And I ask that as an organization, we're going to bury all of it and be resurrected into the power of the Spirit of God for the latter rain and the double portion anointing that's coming and that the anointing of Cyrus would be released in this house to all that are here. And Father God, that wisdom of Joseph will come and that in these next seven year season of time that the witty inventions, the transfer of wealth, the wisdom, the knowledge and the understanding of Solomon when he asked, what, how should I pray? I pray for wisdom that I might judge judge your people because they're your people, not mine. May that wisdom of Solomon fall. May that anointing of Daniel fall. May that anointing of Joseph fall in Yeshua's name. Yeshua's name, in Yeshua's name. Yes. Okay. So Father, I repent. And Lord, my husband and I are one and we've done many things together, Father. But we give you praise and thanksgiving that now I am repenting for everything that I might have ever done, Lord, anything to hurt anyone, to offend anyone, anything that I might have taken upon myself, any dead work, Lord, anything that grieved the heart of the Holy God, Spirit. I, I repent, Father, for all of those things, sins known, sins unknown, sins, Father, of things spoken and things not spoken, Father, any disobedience in my life, Lord. I repent for all of it, and I give you praise that you have given us a way out, and that is the blood oh, of Yeshua. Thank you, Jesus. And so, Lord, all dead works, anything that I might have ever done, Father, that was a dead work and grieved your beautiful spirit, I repent for it, Lord. And I just thank you, Father, for the blood of Yeshua. Oh, thank I you, thank Lord. you, Father, for my husband. I, I thank you, Father, for the house of David. I thank you for my kingdom family, Father. I thank you for the word of God. And I thank you, Father, that you give us the opportunity to immerse over and over again, Father, as you say, daily call upon the Holy Spirit that we might be set free from all 
all of the darkness of yesterday and of the hours and the times past. So we give you praise and thanksgiving that as we immerse in this water today, Father, we shall come up cleansed. We shall come up cleansed, Lord, for we have been made in the image of God. And we desire, Father, to walk in that image in power and in love and in authority and in mercy and in grace, Father. We give you praise and thanksgiving for it in Yeshua's name. Amen. So as Yochanan the Immerser, John the Baptist said, he said that he must be immersed into that which the Lord has called us to do. So Father God, in the supernatural power of the immersion of where you're at, Lord, we ask that you circumcise our heart, which means you separate our hearts from anything that's ungodly that would be Lord, in our value systems that would cause us not yes. to believe or to make bad choices. Yes. We ask you, Lord, to cut them off now yes. in, in Yeshua's, Yeshua's name. name. In Yeshua's name. Hallelujah. So Lord, we seal this work that's been done in your immersion this day. We seal it in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. May everything be recorded in your books in the courts of heaven. And may you experience joy unspeakable as you rise up into this new season. We welcome you, Hag Shemaic. Happy holiday and Shabbat Shalom for 5783 that will start tomorrow. We'll see you at 6 p.m. And you can watch us live here central at House of David on the One New Man Network. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you for your generosity. And thank you for all that you give and all that you sow into this ministry. Know that it's in good's hands and know that it puts you in right alignment in the kingdom of God. May God bless you all richly in Yeshua's name. We love you.